So you want a WordPress website, but don't know how to host it. There are hundreds of thousands of web hosts out there that offer everything from free, shared, VPS to dedicated and managed WordPress hosting. No pressure, but how you choose to host your website will determine how fast and secure it is. Not to mention how much time and effort will be required for you to keep it up to date and functioning properly. So today we're talking specifically about managed WordPress hosting, but if you would like us to cover others too, leave a comment telling us which one. I mean, in general, managed hosting is just like the name implies. You pay someone else to manage everything for you. For many busy entrepreneurs without a ton of technical experience, managed WordPress hosting is a better option. No, they won't build the website for you, but with managed WordPress hosting, you're paying the hosting provider to take care of the server and make it work especially well with WordPress. So what does that mean exactly? Well, think of it this way. If you want to increase the speed of your website while using shared hosting, you'd be responsible for installing a caching plugin, setting up content delivery network, CDN for short, optimizing your database, the list goes on. A managed WordPress plan will do all of that for you because they usually have more optimized environments with cloud infrastructure and load balancers to make sure your site always has the resources that it needs. And your host also handles all of the essential maintenance tasks like automatic offsite backups, WordPress updates, malware scans, and other important tasks. And you'll get the best support since managed WordPress hosts typically only work with WordPress sites. So you're probably asking yourself, what are the cons? I mean, price is probably the biggest factor when looking at any hosting plans. Managed WordPress hosting is a specialized service that costs more to provide and maintain than regular hosting. And prices generally reflect that. There are also a few other restrictions when using managed WordPress. Uh, users are limited in what plugins they can install you can't run other software alongside WordPress. So if you're trying to run a WordPress site and a Joomla site, it typically won't work. You'll also need separate email hosting since most managed WordPress hosts don't offer email hosting like a cPanel account would. If you want to use a custom email like, I don't know, Emma at coffeeandkickflips.com, you'll need something like G Suite or Office 365. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> so how to know manage WordPress hosting is right for you? Well, here are some situations to consider when trying to decide if managed hosting is in fact right for you. If your site has less than 500 visitors per day, paying for managed WordPress would be overkill. You can always start small and upgrade as needed. But if downtime is detrimental to your business, you should probably invest in managed WordPress hosting. For example, if you're running a WooCommerce store and your website isn't reliable, you're missing out on orders and revenue, yikes. Also, if you want the fastest page load times possible, your site will load faster on managed WordPress hosting. And lastly, if you're willing to pay for convenience, you'll waste less time maintaining and optimizing your site which lets you focus on the other aspects of your business. Choosing the best WordPress hosting plans for your website can be a make or break for your business. Choosing a plan that doesn't support your needs can impact your sales, brand reputation, and ultimately your bottom line. So whether you want full cover over your site server infrastructure, or you're ready for someone else to do the heavy lifting for you, guess what? There's a plan for you. All right, that's a wrap, but your journey doesn't have to end here. We have over 300 videos for you to watch. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is The Journey.